So there's my spices. Look at that. Again, beautiful colour. As far as marinades are concerned in general, you know, regular marinade, this is obviously like a, uh, like it's a rub at the moment, and if I put yoghurt in it, it's a, it's a form of marinade. But you know, my classic marinade is basically any herb smashed up in a flavour shaker or a pestle and mortar, or just bang it with your hands or tear it up or finely chop it if you have to. Pepper, smashed up garlic, and just enough oil to coat whatever it is you're cooking. You know, don't be sort of like uh, sucked into doing it. A lot of chefs just put gallons of oil in there. And what happens is you get flavoured oil, but it's not as strong as it with minimal oil. Also, you get a load of meat sitting in a sea of oil. You know, the oil's just there to transmit the flavour. Treat the yoghurt very much like the lamb. I, I just want just enough. And then, um, you know, um, with like steaks and chops, I don't season it. So with a big old lump of meat like that, I actually do season it against the rules. Ooh. And I find it's a good thing for me. Um, you know, I can't go this far without incorporating an element of lemon juice, um, which is good. In actual fact, we've almost made like a coronation chicken dressing here, but with yogurt instead of mayonnaise. Put that over leftover turkey, chicken, pheasant, don't know, whatever. You know, put that around new potatoes and, you know, that would be mega. Um, so I'm just going to mix that up. And then on this, this um, l lamb here, you know, you don't have to do anything, but I, what I quite like to do is just pull off like little bits of um, the skin. You know, lamb skin is the fattiest skin uh, of, of all of the meats. Um, some people just don't like it. Um, it's, it's from a, a lamb, which is, you know, obviously under a year old, so it's not strong or anything. After one year, you, from one to two, uh, lamb, of, well, the, instead of being called lamb, it's called hoggit. Um, not very common at all because people just want lamb. And then after two years, it's called mutton. And mutton can be many, many years old. Not a lot of people um, use mutton. But obviously, the, the, the flavour intensifies. But you know, if you use that flavour intelligently, slow cook it. with bold flavours, bold spices, or slow cook it, with, you know. Um, you know, sort of coco van style flavours, big, bold. You know, you can make mutton heavenly. You know, you can make mutton style bolognese. You know, put that on some pappardelle. You know, really can. So, you know, ask for some mutton. Do some stuff with it. You know, experiment. Don't be boring. Life's too short. You know, can you see that as soon as a bit of moisture goes into that, can you see that it's gone yellower since I put the yoghurt in because it's softened up that saffron? And like you can see the flavour and the colour leaching out of it. So I'm going to pour that over the lamb now. You could use this form of marinade on just about anything. If you did this on a chicken, oh my lord. Game, oven meats. It's a generic, wonderful, exciting, homemade garam masala yoghurt dressing. Um, and what you've got to do now is stick my knife in all over. But yeah, just stab it. It's a more intense colour. Well, well, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna slow cook this. So no, if I was roasting it fast and I was stabbing it like this, that would be not sensible because you will lose moisture. But any any moisture that we lose from this slow cooking, we end up basting back over it again anyway.